everyone, Dr. Denise Dart here. In the last video, I talked about Valentine's Day being what I call the dark playground of the narcissist. And that video really focused on what we call hoovering, when a narcissist who has been in your life at one time or another tries to suck you back in to the relationship. Today, we're going to talk about when the narcissist is using Valentine's Day to get new supply. So this might be somebody you were with in the past doing this to someone else, or it might be someone new in your life doing this to you. If you are using an online dating service, I want you to be exceptionally careful. I consider this to be, again, the dark playground of the narcissist. All the world is their stage, and this enables them to create this fantasy persona where they put out much more money than they're making, <laughs> a birthday <laughs> that makes them much younger than they actually are, talking about these grandiose accomplishments, pictures of this fancy car that may or may not be theirs, doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that they are trying to woo people in into their lair. Now there's a bunch of things that you can really pay attention to that are potential red flags and somebody meeting you for the first time and scheduling a date with you on Valentine's Day is red flag number one. This will be the same person who down the road looks at you like, what? I don't celebrate Valentine's Day, <laughs> right? So you have been through this before. And if you think back, you were wooed once by a narcissist who turns out, turned out to be a person who really hurt you, who was emotionally abusive, maybe physically, but primarily here we're talking about that emotional abuse, the gaslighting, the deceit, the cheating, the lying, um, on and on. So the fact is, you were one time wooed. So there is something there that may put you at risk for being wooed again. If you are fresh out of a relationship and hurting, you're vulnerable right now. If you had a relationship with a narcissist and you took the time to do your emotional work, to heal those places inside you, likely you're going to find this type of person anything but attractive. So all of the fancy, grandiose, me, 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 rather than attracting you, if you've done your work, will turn you off. But here again, we just have to make sure that our eyes are wide open. If you think about relationships, oftentimes there's, you can really put them in kind of two categories at the beginning of the relationship, fast burn and slow burn. Fast burn, that's the narcissist. Going too fast, talking about marrying you. You look like my wife on the, on the second date or first date. Really saying, um, you're going to be my wife. I want to live with you. You're the most fabulous person I've ever met. I've waited my whole life for you. <laughs> don't buy it. This person is in love with a fantasy. They don't even know you yet. So although it might feel good for somebody to fawn over you in that way, red flag, red flag, big red flag. Another red flag, pay attention to how the person talks about their ex. You hear a lot of blame. You hear a lot about just trashing this person. Listen for the words. She was so unappreciative so selfish. She just uses everybody. She lied to me. Okay, think about projection. These things may be true. I mean, there are people who are victimized in this way, but if you're seeing this along with this grandiose display of talking about me, 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 and trying to impress you that way, those two go, to be, go together and you want to really, really watch out. Is this person interested in you? Are they asking questions about you? 
or are they so busy creating this fantasy image in their mind and deciding if you're going to get pushed into that spot or not? So a good way um, to kind of test the waters in the very beginning is start putting up some boundaries. The narcissist does not like boundaries. They want to know that they can reach into your heart and soul and mold you and make you what they need, forgetting that you're even a human being, right? So if from the beginning you start setting up some boundaries and maybe having different ideas about what kind of date you have instead of the fancy um, schmooze you, take you home and seduce you kind of a date, maybe you just want to have coffee and talk. All right, so think about these things. And although you may be recovering, have recovered, moved on from a relationship that was very, very hurtful, it doesn't mean you're not at risk for that happening again. Uh, many people move on past abusive relationships and if they take the time to heal and do the work of healing, they can have wonderful, loving, supportive, amazing relationships in their life. And I can certainly speak to this. Didn't rush out to find somebody. Okay, so take your time. And think about online dating in general. It's the move fast, you know, easy come, easy go. Years ago, when I had a private practice and I listened to people talking about how they conducted themselves, sending out the same email, like a mass, <laughs> a mass distribution about how amazing and wonderful you are and they can't, they can't believe that they're, you know, so fortunate to meet you, yada, 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 all right? So, although it might feel good, to be wooed, you wanna be extremely careful. So, <laughs> you can probably hear and maybe see my sweet dog Nellie behind, so she's slurping down her water right now. It's kind of a crack up. I think I'm going to do a contest for a free coaching se session to the person who can find Nellie in the most number of my videos, because <laughs> she's in a lot of them. So if you want to start looking for that, send me a message, a private message. Let me know the videos that you see her in and you might win a free coaching session. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Counting down to Valentine's Day. Think about self-care. Think about self-love. Think about healing and empowering and really growing into yourself. If it's been a while and you're ready, okay. But eyes wide open, looking for those red flags. All right, go out and make it a great day, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.